The Mile High State of Colorado is known as a place where family and friends come together from across the country to pursue some of the best big game hunting in all of North America. It is here that the First Lady of Indiana and my good friend Janet Holcomb filled her first elk tag and I notched my mule deer tag on an ancient buck. The Mile High State is also known for its rapidly changing severe weather. But this winter storm won't slow me down in my pursuit to fill both my black bear and elk tag in order to complete my Colorado State trifecta of species. Like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Even those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. To be in this moment right now is like That's pretty awesome. unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> Hey, Johnny. Yeah. We got elk at the oak brush across the basin here. He's turning. He's at five by four. That's a pretty bull. Just a young bull. That storm last night sure making these animals pop out on the hillside. Well, I've seen at least four cows there in the one bull. I would think that they would be up and feeding a lot more than they are. I mean, these ones are still sticking to the timber. Take advantage of this weather and see if we can dig up another group. Yeah, I think we got to keep working up the mountain while we got daylight. Yeah. As the afternoon sun shimmers across the beautiful white blanket of snow, quickly melting it away, the elk movement is surprisingly slow. Most of them seem to be just enjoying the sunny hillsides from their beds. As the evening light begins to fade, we encounter the unexpected moving about. Let me get you a range. Oh, crap. 168. You on him? Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> we you just got, got a bear. You got him. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That is so awesome. And he's chocolate. What a beautiful chocolate bear. You actually got the one down that I didn't think, think we'd get. get. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I've never killed a color faced bear. Well, that's a beautiful like, bear. I have seriously, yeah, I'm so excited. Well, let's grab yeah, packs let's and go, go look at yeah. it. I was so not expecting to film my bear tag this week, well, but like a bonus. A chocolate cinnamon oh, looking color. Bear. You don't have a lot of opportunities to manage big predators and to pass on an opportunity would have been silly. This is a gorgeous bear. And they're the number one leading predator on our calf elks. They've got a study going right now on them. I'm glad to have done my part for conservation today and it's my first color face black bear, so I'm really thrilled. The memories made in Colorado have been incredible. Janet's first elk hunt was a life-changing experience that ignited the fire within, creating a new lifelong hunter. After grueling weather conditions, I was fortunate enough to make the perfect stock through the mud, snow, and rain to harvest an ancient mule deer buck that was massive in size and the perfect way to end my quest for mule deer. With my black bear and mule deer tag punched, there's only one final tag to notch to make my trifecta complete, perfecting this trip. 
Feeling the anticipation on the final day of the hunt, we once again search the mountain for a bull. Christy, there goes a bull through the cedars. Get set up. What's the far side? The ridge is 360. Not bad. That happened so fast, he was just literally coming up out of this bottom. And you caught him out of the corner of your eye. And thankfully, I was able to get set up and get a shot off on this bull. It just like happened so fast. I mean, he was scooting. You know, I don't know if he saw us when we were just walking in here. He was down low, and then, but I knew with that big oak face, he had to show. That worked out perfectly. He was well within range. I dialed, and it was just game over. So awesome. So awesome. We've hunted so hard for elk this week. Oh. We've had 60 mile an hour winds. We've had snow. A blizzard. Uh, yeah, it's just been unreal trying to find a bull. And the thing is, is we're finding cows and we're finding small bulls. But, you know, to find a bull like that by himself, we knew we were looking for a needle in a haystack and all these cedars and yeah. paid off. Having completed my state trifecta for elk, mule deer, and black bear, I could not be more grateful to this wonderful state for the hunt of a lifetime and trip that I won't forget. It is because of hunters and the funding that they generate through the sale of licenses and tags that wildlife populations are abundant in North America. And I'm proud to be part of the greatest conservation movement in the history of the world one that includes science-based wildlife management for both predator and prey populations.